I'd like to uh, ask both of you several questions about the recent AI at Work study uh, and overall mental health in the workplace. Mental health, it's not new. Uh, it certainly existed before the pandemic. Uh, but one of the things we're seeing is that it's come to the forefront in a very big way. And my question is, what do you think has caused that to happen? So when we did the study with workplace intelligence, um, we went out to survey 12,000 employees, HR professionals, managers, and C-suite around uh, across 11 countries. And the findings are pretty consistent. 70% of the people said uh, this is the most stressful year ever in their professional life. And 78% of the people say they have been impacted by mental health issues. And this is not only impacting their productivity in the workplace, but also impacting their personal lives. And one of the things that stood out in the study that was really interesting is that, yes, uh, so many people working from home and because so many people working from home, there's no real commute time anymore. And so you've reallocated that time, not into listening to a podcast, but into doing more work. Uh, one of the things that the study showed was that 82% of people believe that robots can actually uh, support their mental health overall better than humans can. And the question I have is, what do you feel is driving that? There's still a sense of stigma associated with mental health and technology provides this judgment-free zone where they can ask questions in a safe way and they, they can get answers quickly because technology is available 24 by seven. The technology revolution is already here. We're already interacting with chatbots and artificial intelligence in order to uh, get the, the non-bias responses that we're looking for whenever we want them. So we have to we have to remember that. This is, we're not thinking about 20 years in the future. It's here today. Are there any examples of technology that you've seen in place uh, that have helped address the mental health issue, in particular as the pandemic has arisen? There is not one app that's gonna solve the mental health problem. It's the collection of all the apps, all the technologies, the humans behind the technologies, the humans that augment and uh, supplement the apps. It's, it's the technology that supplements the humans. I think the underlying technology is already there and a lot of technology pieces can be leveraged to promote mental health. When HR teams put together solutions, I encourage everybody to think about three areas. The first one is connecting your employees to the right resources. You can do this, for example, through training your digital assistant to point employees to the um, right resource as part of the employee assistance program. The second component I encourage everyone to think about is foster that sense of community. Recently, we introduced a new capability called Connections. It's a new modern way of doing HR directory and when you go online, not only can you see for each employee a picture or a short video of them, you can also see their hobbies, their experience, their career aspirations, their skills. And by um, looking at this information, you can find new opportunities to connect with other employees around the globe, by the way, based on their hobbies and their career aspirations or uh, functional skill sets. Um, the third area I encourage everyone to think about is around career growth. Recently, we have uh, we launched a new capability called Opportunity Marketplace, and it's an internal gigs marketplace where people can find um, projects they can get involved in, or internal job postings, or even volunteer opportunities. And this is a great way for employees to come together and still continue that sense of growth and career development.